everybody, welcome back to the Gentry YouTube channel with me, Jen. Hope you're all doing okay. Today I'm going to carry on the winter theme that we've got going for this month and we're going to do another dance massage. Now, if you follow Gentry already, you'll probably know that I did a colour dance massage one a little while back. So if you haven't checked that out, check that out. That's all about emotions and colour regulation. This one, it kind of is a bit similar, um, but it's got props in it. Now you can use props with dance massage as well as just hand actions like I did for the previous one um, so it does require a little bit of prep but once you've prepped it you can whack it away in a box and then you've got it to do over and over again and as I bang on about all the time in gentry repetition is key so you've got a box of resources that you can get out at a moment's notice and have some lovely lovely one-to-one -one interaction with your child or learner so a little bit of prep but totally worth it so I'm going to go through what we're going to use for this now, the tracks, the music that goes along with it, um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, now if you're not familiar with dance massage, it is kind of what it says on the tin. It was a lovely idea by a woman called Naomi Rosenberg, um, and she did a lot of stuff with resonance board and clonker board stuff, she's a fab lady. Um, but she just came up with the idea of rhythmically tapping along to music. So um, some of you will be familiar with tap pack and things like that. This is a similar premise, but I would say the difference between tap pack and dance massage is that dance massage focuses on a more musical element to the session. So Tac Pack is about the kind of sensory experience and the communication interchange that you've got with your learner, um, which you obviously still get for dance massage, that's a key part of it. But I would say it focuses more on the rhythm, the beat, the direct response to the music that you're hearing. So it's worth being aware of that if you are the person leading the session or you're the partner that's doing the massage with your learner. Um, it's worth remembering that actually, am I really responding to what the music is doing? Um, and I know some people have varying degrees of music ability that are watching this and think, oh my goodness, what does that mean? Um, but it's just being kind of in tune with what the music's doing. So if the music's getting faster, you're moving faster. If it's kind of slowed down a little bit, you can just pause a little bit with the props on the skin and then kind of build it up again. It's about bringing the excitement, bringing the joy, bringing the really lovely things that music gives to us to your learner so that they can have essentially a dancing kind of experience, rhythmically and musically speaking, um, with these props. So yeah, I'll go through what we need for this now. Um, there are five key props that we've got for this and I've assigned five tracks that work really well with the props. So I'll go through those now for you. So for this dance massage box that you can just prep in advance, there are some cotton wool balls. Now if you can't find cotton wool balls and you can only find pads and things, go into the baby section. I discovered this the other day because I was like, why doesn't anyone sell cotton wool balls anymore? I was like, is that not a thing anymore? But actually they do sell them in the baby section and not in the makeup section. So if you're looking for the little balls, go to the baby section, handy tip. Then I've also got a scrunched up piece of foil here, so that's going to create a different texture on our skin. I'll talk to you in a minute about uh, being careful using this because it does actually create a kind of spikiness to it. So we just need to be a little bit careful when we're using that. But again, really nice texture on the skin. So that's another one of our props. And then we've also got some metal spoons. Now these are quite heavy duty ones. They're quite heavy, but actually that's quite a good thing sometimes because you get a really nice sensation of weight on the skin. And if we're thinking about proprioception and understanding where our body parts are, having that nice weight feeling um, on your hands or on your feet or on your legs and just kind of slowly working its way down is quite a nice feeling. Now a great thing to do with these for a winter themed dance massage is to put them in the fridge or the freezer beforehand um, and then they go super cold for the duration of your track at least, they do slowly warm up. Um, but again that gives another dimension to the sensation. If your learner is really anti-cold you don't have to necessarily do that. Um, but it's quite a nice way of bringing in a wintery theme. You can actually do that with the cotton wool balls as well. Um, just wipe the whole box in the fridge even, and then you've got lots of lovely cold things to carry on a winter theme. Alongside that, I've got a little, oh, that just flipped in my face, um, <laughs> a little uh, bag of water here. Now this is really cold water that I've just filled and tied it up with. You could probably use a balloon as well, but be aware if you're filling balloons with water from the tap, they go everywhere when you pull them off the tap so um yeah just be aware of that but that's again going to give a lovely weighted sensation on the skin a cold sensation on the skin as well and we can just kind of drop that up and down in rhythm to the music and we can go all the way up our arms 
um, and stuff but again that's just quite a nice sensation and then lastly I've got some E45 here um, and what I've done is just get a little dish here squeeze some of that in and add it in some American peppermint um, and that's just created a lovely peppermint kind of massage oil for us and you can do that with E45 in all kinds of scents if you want to create your own lotion um, it's a really nice way of doing it um, there's something about peppermint isn't there as well it just creates a lovely sort of wintery vibe to it so that's why I've done that that's also going to create a smell cue for the end of your session so if you do this repeatedly and I strongly strongly recommend that you do you can get a lovely smell cue that signifies at the end of the session which is going to be really beneficial for your learner um, particularly if you're kind of massaging around their face or around their cheek um, they're going to get it off your hands as well and they're just going to know that that's the last one in the dance massage session so yeah that's a really nice way of creating scented moisturizers and it's going to relax all of their body and all of their joints um, at the end of the session so hopefully you're going to have a really chilled learner at the end of this so once you've assembled your props, you are obviously going to need some music and I'm going to share with you the tracks that I've chosen that I think pair themselves really well with each of these props. Now it is about engaging the sensory modalities here and I just kind of feel that as long as you're choosing music that really goes with that sensation, you're going to get a really nice holistic experience with your learner. Um, so feel free to choose your own music, this isn't a set in stone kind of session. Um, it is a trialed and tested one, but as I say, use whatever music you think would go with the sensation that that learner is experiencing at the time. So obviously the cotton wool is a really soft one, so you're going to need music that evokes that kind of a feeling as well. So yeah, have a little bit of flexibility with it by all means, but just think about it partnering itself really nicely with what your learner is experiencing. Okay, so the music that you need for this, as I say, this is trialed and tested. Um, so what I would probably do is look at your learner, work out the best positioning that they can be in. So if you're working with a baby out on a mat, then get them on their back if they like being on their back. If they like tummy time, put them on their tummy. If you're working with a learner who's in supportive seating, um, you can get them out on the floor if they're comfier like that. If they're better in supportive seating, by all means, keep them in that. Again, know your learner, know how they're most confident and most comfortable. As obviously you are going to do a massage, it's worth having as much skin uncovered as possible. Um, so if they can just be in like a little vest or something, obviously make sure they're warm. Um, but if they've got their shoes off, their socks off, if they're wearing little shorts, that's kind of better because then you've got access to arms and legs and it can be a sort of whole body experience rather than just hands and feet. Um, but do what's manageable for you. Now an important way to start as well is to build up those cues and that regularity and that consistency um, so you can say okay are you ready for dance massage and just wait to sort of see if they know what that means. You can do that with a touch as well so maybe kind of touch their shoulders three times like are you ready for dance massage um, and you can say that a couple of times to them and do a little kind of tapping cue just so they know where they are um, and what's about to happen. Now the first prop that I would use is probably the spoons and um, again this gives a really nice weighted sensation on the skin. Um, always show your child or learner the prop beforehand so just kind of go we're going to use the spoons now um, and just kind of wipe it maybe on the back of their uh, hand just kind of let them experience it before you kind of go into full rhythmic mode because that might be a bit overwhelming for some of your learners. Um, but yeah, that's quite a nice one to start with. And the track that I always use for the spoons is a track by a guy called Marie. It's M-R-E-E, -E, very strange. Um, but it's a sort of piano-based track um, and it's called Winter. So I'll pop that on the screen as well so you know. But yeah, just really rhythmically follow that piano beat. Um, go all the way up their arms, all the way down and just give them a really, really nice experience of the rhythm of that track. That's quite a nice one to start with. It's not too in your face. Um, and then yeah, it's just a question of really, really watching them and seeing how they behave, what they like, what they don't like. Start and stop, respond to the music. If the music gets a little bit faster, do a little bit faster drumming. If they seem to really like a particular part of their body being sort of drummed on, then use that and go for that. So um, it's about the autonomy of the learner always um, and what they're communicating to you. So yeah, be really, really observant of that. Um, and yeah, enjoy the spoons. So after that, I tend to use the four 
oil um, just because it's again it's another different sensation for them and seems to just follow the spoons quite well and um, for this I use a song by the staves it's called winter trees um, it's got a really nice variance of rhythm throughout it so it starts relatively slow um, but builds up quite rhythmically and it's really important to follow that in dance massage so um, your learner gets a really nice experience of the song also the more you do this the more your learner will begin to anticipate what's going on in the music so don't assume that how your learner behaves the first time you do this session is going to be the same when you're on repetition number six of doing this and this that's the whole point of dance massage that you can watch this evolution um, in your child or learner um, and it's really really interesting to see how children behave this sort of seventh eighth ninth tenth time that they've done it uh, in comparison to the first time um, so yeah, the foil uh, we're using for this as well. Um, as I say, this is spiky, um, that's the whole point of it. It's got a really, really nice spiky sensation. Um, so I tend to kind of rub the skin, but make sure you're moving as you're doing that, because as I say, on the skin over and over again, it will kind of create a bit of irritation. So um, it is about kind of moving as you're doing it. Um, and yeah, just give them a kind of, not too hard, just a little kind of, sort of spiky scratch with it um, and you'll be surprised so many learners really really like this sensation I think because it is such a definite feeling um, so many learners really like it so yeah just a little scrunch up ball of foil um, and really really follow the rhythm of that piece and the particular little tempo changes so when it starts to kind of go double speed you can do it double speed rather than just the steady beat so yeah foil after that we're going to use the bag of water this is a really important one to introduce slowly so don't launch straight into the next track and just go right we're going to use the bag of water without telling them about it just really really let them kind of feel what that feels like um, on their hands and their feet on their legs um, and just kind of go oh, we're going to use the bag of water now oh, what does that feel like and just kind of talk to them about it before you launch straight into that rhythmic um, one that we're going to use for this one just let them kind of experience that first um, the track that I use for this one is actually called Water it's by Pentatonics um, I'll pop that up on the screen as well um, and yeah it's got a real kind of again rhythmic vibe to it um, so yeah make sure you're kind of echoing that uh, with the sort of pulsating up and down of that um, and yeah have fun with that one as well after all of those rhythmic ones we're going to start to kind of wind down the session a little bit we're going to use cotton wool balls for that bit um, and obviously if you're using cotton wool balls it's quite a soft sensation and comparatively to the water it's a real real contrast this so again just give your learner time to process um, the change of that and yeah these cotton wool balls are really really soft on the skin and sometimes it takes children and learners quite a long time to process um, softer textures sometimes the more abrasive things um, can fire up a few more nerve endings or something they do tend to kind of um, respond better sometimes to the harder textures so give them a lot of time to process the soft one because it is kind of an odd one sometimes you think it would be more comforting but sometimes it isn't always the case um, so yeah, let them process that. The track that we're using for that is by the lovely Kate Resby. It's all folky um, and beautiful and it's called Cold Winter. Um, and as I say, just use two of them um, and do some sort of circles and swilling motions for that one. That's quite a nice one to do. Um, and again, you can go onto the face for this one. Um, there's a beautiful thing called Theraplay, which is all about intensive interaction and doing things that kind of celebrate um, the child or the learner and all the lovely things that make them them. So you can do things like just kind of stroke it on their nose and uh, like laugh at them or put it over their eyes and take it away um, and just kind of rhythmically kind of do a little bit of intensive interaction. So they work really nicely for that kind of stuff as well. And then we're nearly at the end. So by this point, hopefully your learner will be super chilled and happy. Um, so we can finish off with the cream. So this is my peppermint cream that I made earlier. Um, and you can just pour it onto your hands, give them a rub together and just give them a really, really nice soft massage. Um, use your thumbs quite a lot as well, just to really, really soothe those muscles out um, while we finish. Now, I always use Enya in massage. I know it's a bit of a cliche. Um, it's used quite a lot in special ed, but actually why reinvent the wheel? It does sometimes work beautifully um, for it. And she's got the beautiful winter album out. So the song that I tend to use is called And Winter Came. Um, and it's just a 
really nice relaxation regulatory track to finish a massage session and also links in with our winter theme so yeah just let your learner really really relax into a really lovely deep massage to finish the session um, and again you can kind of go onto their face and just use fingertips if you want to just so they get that scent um, and then once you're finished you can kind of let them just smell your hands and kind of go okay we have finish we have finished they're the five props they're the five songs i'll put the whole list up on the screen now so you can take a screenshot of it or jot it down um but yeah it's a really really nice session this it's cool it's calm it's regulatory um and it's nurturing and this is all the stuff that we need at the minute um so yeah have loads of fun with it doesn't take too long to prep hopefully you've got a decent amount of these lurking at home anyway um, and really really cannot stress it enough repeat 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 it you will see such a change and you will see those lovely anticipatory responses when they start to recognize the music more um, because actually these are all going to be new tracks to them originally so you're not going to get the same kind of levels of responses that you're going to get if you repeat this um, so yeah whack it into your day put it in as part of your routine um, and have loads of fun so if you like the video today please do give it a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so i will see you next time for another installment of our winter theme but until then everybody take care look after yourselves be kind to yourselves as well and i will see you soon bye